So today we're going to build our own external solid state drive. Now for this process, you really only need two essential items. You'll need an internal 2.5 inch solid state drive like the one I've got here. This one is made by Kingston. It's their 120 gigabyte SSD now. You can get differently sized drives from 60 gigs or you can even go all the way to 960 gigabytes of solid state drive storage. So we'll use this one here. The other item that you need is you need a two and a half inch drive enclosure. And I've got one here. This is made by Epicorn. And they're one of the leading manufacturers of drive enclosures. In fact, they're the leading manufacturer of secure drive enclosures that have encryption on them and stuff. But not, not this one, but this is a very robust one because it has a very thick casing on it. And when we open it up, we'll see some nice additional items that this one has versus some other enclosures. And you can get them on various connection types. This is a USB 3 enclosure I got here. You can also get ones that have eSATA on them. You can also get ones that also have Thunderbolt or even Firewire 800, depending on your connectivity needs that you want to use for your drive. So the first thing we need to do is we need to open up the drive enclosure so that we can install the SSD in it. And some of them are toolless and some of them require tools. This is a semi-toolless tool drive. The opening is toolless. We just move the slider here and it will pop the other end out just like that. And again, the nice thing about this drive is that this enclosure has this drive tray built in with it with the connectors and we do have screws in here so we do have to do some assembly but it's mainly just for mounting our SSD into the drive tray here from the screw holes on the bottom. Most of the time with other toolless drives you won't even need that but most of the time your drives will only have the bezel here with the connector on it and you just plug the drive in and slide it in. So this is kind of a nice addition to have a physical drive tray that we just slide into our caddy here. So let's take this apart. And again, there's our power and SATA connector to use on our SSD. Now there's no Phillips head screwdriver included in this one. Uh, most of your drive enclosures that require tools usually will include some kind of small screwdriver so you won't have to go and find one but I already have a little screwdriver right here now also with your drive enclosures your SSDs may come with a little spacer like this this is designed to give it a little more thickness if the drive kind of fits loosely in there you can use that to tighten it up a little bit so we'll take our SSD in our drive caddy and slide it in there line it up and then we're going to push it into the connector just like that and of course with this one I got to turn it over and I need to secure the SSD in the drive caddy do that right now Alright, so our solid state drive is now fastened in there and it's connected up to the controller. So now all I gotta do is slide this into the case to just snap right in. And we're done. That's all there is to it to building your own external SSD.